What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Pokemon opening. We're doing a Hidden Fates. We got another Gyarados tin. This happens to be the same tin that we are going to be giving away this Thursday. Um, kind of announced the uh, giveaway last video. And before we go any further, I just want to remind people that, you know, there was one thing that you had to do is join the Discord. Uh, but when you do leave your comment with the hashtag Turtle Giveaway, put in your Discord name uh, just so that I know there is some way to actually confirm that you are in the Discord. Uh, a couple people point out that, you know, a lot of people didn't do that. So, you know, there's a couple of these things you can just go back to that video and edit the comment and just make sure you have your discord name so we can identify you in the discord even if you have the same name um you know just play it safe so we have this gyarados tin and we're also doing another one of these mini tins we opened one of these a uh, little bit ago and to be honest i'm not crazy about the product in fact i feel like it's pretty bad um however someone point out you know maybe you should just open one of each art so you do get the different arts uh, kind of like this Gyarados one so I think we will do that I do want to pick up all of them and in case you didn't know like it these go nice in these card saver ones it's kind of like acts as a sleeve for it and we'll start with this I'm pretty sure there's very no chance of me changing my mind about this product I just think it's not that good compared to the other one the pack selection just really kills it I think the previous one was Fates Collide and Burning Shadows, and they swapped out that, I think it's Ancient Origins, and Crimson Inva Crimson Invasion really kills it for me. You know, even if we got good pulls, uh, I still think that this is not a very good product, and, you know, this thing's got a good nick in that corner, which I'm not happy about. But we will have all the art, <laughs> they'll probably be beat up, but I'm not even sure you can get these things graded, so that's not the end of the world. And I'm not even sure what to do with these because I don't think they'll fit in a binder. That would be nice, you know, you kind of, although if it's five cards, that's awkward for a binder as well, so I'm not sure. But here we go, two, oh yeah, is this the, the, the coin? I'm not even sure. All right, Ancient Origins and Crimson Invasion before we crack into this Gyarados box. Let's go through this. Let's see, Ancient Origins. Is this the one with the, the primals, like the primal Groudon and primal Kyogre? That'd be pretty cool to get. All right, here we go. We got a Rotom, Porygon 2, Special Dangerous Energy, Magikarp, Meow, Chillin' at the Beach, Spinarak, Beltoy, the Ancient Trait. Like, Character Rare is coming in Cosmic Eclipse. This is so much better than this. Like, this did not do anything for me. And, all right, we got a Malamar, and then a Porygon Z, another Ancient Trait. This one is a foil. So yeah, speaking of those character rares, Cosmic Eclipse, um, I don't remember who it was in the Discord, kind of mentioned that they're really excited about it, and it kind of like reminded me, like, oh my gosh, yeah, Cosmic Eclipse is coming soon, and I feel like, I'm wondering how that's going to go. I feel like Hidden Minds, or Unified Minds was good, but not great. And then you have Hidden Fates and this non-stop excitement, you know, People are still struggling to find product, and I thought I thought it would die down. Um, some of the prices are st continuing to go down, even the Charizard. But still, you know this nonstop hype. And then when the next regular set comes out, Cosmic Eclipse, I'm very curious what the impact is going to be. Just a wiggly tough. But yeah, this this what I mean. Like I'm not even excited. About <laughs> what the impact is going to be for Cosmic Eclipse? Where is there going to be like a lot of wall fatigue that happened in Magic the Gathering when War of the Spark came out and then what was after Modern Horizons and Commander Core 2020 I, or was I think it was Core 2020 didn't get a lot of love or Modern Horizons potentially just because a lot of wallet fatigue and I wonder if the same thing is going to happen for Cosmic Eclipse which and it's not that there's nothing to get excited about. Like I, I love the character rares. The Dream League openings were really fun just because of those cards. All right, here we go. The main event are four Hidden Fates packs. But yeah, let me know um, what what's your plans for Cosmic Eclipse? Uh, did you kind of get the same amount that you usually? Are you going to get the same amount as you normally do for those regular sets? Are you getting less because of Hidden Fates fatigue? <laughs> I think for myself, it'll probably be less just because of the, all the Hidden Fates hype. Like, the 
premium stuff, you know, it comes out so, it comes out like during, so it's, it's like almost directly competing, which is a very interesting situation. Let's see, let's go like this. All right, let's go Mew first. I know Mew is like a promo for the pins, but like there's not even a shiny Mew. All right, pack number one. We got something in there. Let's see. How long has it been since we pulled a shiny GX? I think it's been quite some time. <laughs> we are overdue. Can we do it? I don't want to start another curse. We have a Clee Fairy. Oh, just all right. We, <laughs> we have so many <laughs> in this point. Jeez, uh, I feel weird to. No, I'm not complaining about. I'm I'm always happy to pull those, but I think it's funny how how like is it skewed? Like how unbalanced our pulls are. I think this might be my fourth one, and only two shiny GXs. We got in two stadiums, one gold Pokemon, and then only two sh old, like shiny GXs. So. By no means are our pulls bad, um, this is a very solid hit, but just very uneven. And then the dupes, oh man, there's so many dupes. Alright, but yeah, this is starting off to be a very good tin. That full art supporter. And here we go with number two, we got fire energy. But uh, yeah, so make sure you do enter the giveaway, and when you do, remember, put your Discord name and join us. Uh, a couple people have mentioned that they don't have a Discord. It is like a free thing, so you can just go in and sign in, sign up for it. We got a Snorlax for our rare. I actually like that Snorlax. And then a Shiny Gimbal. All right, there we go. This one is our first one, and I really like this, um, this evolutionary line with the Ascension stuff. It was really cool. All right. Ooh, two, two packs, two very good hits. Good tin. This is a very successful tin opening so far. We still got two more packs. If we can get one more, one more hit, then, like, all right, this was way above average. <clears throat> Pokemon Center lady. And, uh, yeah, if you do drop in the Discord... Make sure you go to the, you know, say hi in the general chat and then go to the Pokemon pictures. Uh, show us how you've been doing with Hidden Fates. Love to see how other people are doing and like, kind of like, ooh, those are some nice shiny chances you have. Ooh, nothing in this pack. So it will come down to, uh, even if we don't get anything here, I'll still consider this like, the 10 would be 6, 7, uh, seven out of 10. The... That little mini tin was rough, although it, I'm not sure what could, at this point my decision is made up for that product as a whole. Alright, here we go, last pack. Let's get a shiny GX to, I wouldn't say we're in the curse yet, but we're going to prevent it. We're not, we're gonna, not even allow it to start. We got Pikachu with all the bubbles, another Jesse and James. I, I, I like this one a lot more, I will say that. And, ooh, what do we have? What do we have? Oh, is this the shiny GX? No more curse. Boom! Oh! <laughs> ho oh! There we go. Don't worry, Andy. No curse. Ho oh, oh! Let's see how this thing looks. This is, um, you know, I feel like this one will never be super expensive, but this one, in my opinion, will be, in the long run, a very solid uh, shiny. I'm not sure if there was there a shiny ho -Oh in Shining Legends. I know there was a ho -Oh in one came with the ETB. I don't remember if it was shiny or not. But either way, that looks amazing. And anything that's like legendary or like evolution or anything like that, in my opinion, just has like longevity wise will just have hold value much better. All right, that was an amazing tin. I'm struggling to get this sleeve on. Yeah, so for that mini tin, we didn't get the Charizard, and that's basically it. Um, pretty bad product, I will say. It doesn't matter what you pull, like, it's just a... You might get a good tin, but it's still not a good product. But for our Hidden Fates tin, which is an amazing product, we have a Shiny Gibble. First one of that. Great, no dupes. 
Jesse and James. I believe this is number four, but you know what? I love this. This is the probably the only printing, and I think this card was really good. It's like banned uh, and expanded, I believe. Um, I feel like it has good synergy with Mew Mewtwo. I think you can use it to basically get um, Charizard GX, which is normally stage two, and then Ho-Oh GX, lovely shiny. Even though it's only orange from red, uh, but that's okay. You know, shiny legendary, we will take it, especially when it's not a dupe. So that's it, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure you enter the giveaway. I'm not so winning on Thursday. Make sure you put your Discord name in there. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.